Well, a drug more powerful than heroin has been making its rounds across the nation, and that includes right here in Grand Junction, as more people have been arrested in connection with one woman's overdose death. Care X5's John Madden has been following this case, and he's here with the latest. John. That's right. After 32 year old Ashley Romero passed away, her mother started spreading the word about how dangerous fentanyl is. And now that more arrests have been made in regards to distribution of that drug, she says she is grateful. Nothing is going to bring our daughter back. Seven months after her daughter's death, it's still a tough conversation for Andrea Thomas to have. My concern would be to urge um, people to be aware of fentanyl. Fentanyl, a dangerous opioid, is the reason 32-year-old Ashley Romero's life was cut short, prompting a warning from her mother. It can be in anything. It doesn't just come in the form of this fentanyl pill. It can be in anything that you take. That's what happened in Romero's case, as law enforcement thinks she took a pill that was laced with the drug. It's 50 times more powerful than morphine. It only takes a tiny, tiny amount to kill you. Mesa County saw a decline in drug-related deaths in 2018, and the Drug Enforcement Agency says it's partly due to stopping a major drug operation. We believe we've got pretty much everybody responsible, either locked up or, or charged for that. 11 people have been arrested or charged with fentanyl distribution, with some of those cases resulting in death. Absolutely, it's helped. Is the long-term fix? Of course not. You know, we, we will never solve in this long-term, but hopefully this will be a huge deterrent. Now the form of helping solve the issue comes with education about the big-time dangers of small amounts of deadly drugs. Don't take anything that your doctor didn't prescribe you and only take it in the recommended dosage. If something good can come of her death, then that's what we want to see happen. While it's a tough conversation for Andrea Thomas to have, she feels it's necessary, which could save other people from having to talk about the death of a loved one in this manner. The more we talk about it and the more we are aware of it, the more people's lives that are going to be saved. According to the DEA, Bruce Holder was the leader of that drug operation. He was already in custody at the time he was charged in the case of Ashley Romero. First on the Western Slope, I'm John Madden, KRX 5 News.